Hello everyone, this is Roshni Shri Abhirami, a legal intern with Lexis and Company. In this video, I will be dealing with the protection of cows under the constitution and how the uh, you know particular article 44 which speaks about uh, agricultural animal husbandry uh, in general and protection of cows in particular. Um, was brought into the constitution in a, in a little brief way. So basically, um, the hist uh, Indian constitution has a particular article for protection of a particular animal in the country. I do not think any constitution in the world would speak about protection of cows or any particular animal in particular unless and until a very you know unique or a very deep connection has been formed with it so basically when you look into it uh, indian legislature indian legislators right from the very beginning of the framing of the constitution right from 1946 when the constituent assembly was form, uh, formed for a new country like india uh, right from that time there had been so many suggestions with regards to addition of a uh, article or a clause which would say the which would talk about the banning of cow slaughter in india so you could actually imagine it a particular animal which has been you know um, uh, which has been cattled or you know grown in every single country uh, is protected by a constitution and is requested by an entire country for uh, protecting that particular animal it means that there has to be some kind of historical background or some kind of historical link uh, has to be there right so many 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 requests were you know placed or submitted to the drafters of the constitution when the dra uh, constitution was first uh, you know the framers of the constitution were framing the constitution and the, when the constituent assembly was set up in 1946 so many requests were submitted with regards to the ban on slaughtering of cows so uh, when you look into it even mahatma gandhi in his uh, uh, biography and various other uh, uh, books has written uh, that even in his letters and uh, uh, many things he has later written that he had received so many thousands of letters and telegram requests for uh, you know banning of cow slaughter and to make it illegal Legal. Gandhi uh, Gandhiji was uh, given with the task of persuading Jawaharlal Nehru and Vallabhai Patel to pass such legislations. So uh, many people requested Gandhi to approach the uh, Prime Minister, the then Prime Minister uh, Jawaharlal Nehru and the then Home Minister uh, uh, so Vallabhai Patel in order to you know, uh, advise them to come up with legislations to ban cow slaughters. But, uh, uh, but what Gandhiji did was, Gandhiji uh, uh, advocated that, uh, you know, instead of uh, giving away so many papers, instead of ba wasting papers, uh, you could, uh, we could actually think about, you know, going in a path that would, uh, you know, uh, not affect many people. But it has to be kept in mind that we have to, uh, before we, you know, appreciate Gandhiji entirely for this part, we have to keep in mind that Gandhiji, at one point before you know the constitution was framed he was a serious advocator of uh, the banning of cow slaughter but when india was partitioned for india and pakistan as we all know as india was partitioned gandhi ji realized that uh, you know come uh, adding a clause for protection of cows would create more violence and communal uh, disruptions all, all over the country and thus the such a you know provision cannot be added to the constitution and he cannot advocate the same to Jawaharlal Nehru or Vallabhai Patil, the then Home Minister. So this is the small overview of uh, the history. Now what happened in the constituent assembly during the constitutional debate is what we are going to see. So there was uh, the constitution, the constitution was drafted, the framers of the constitution brought in with a perfect draft of the constitution but we have to know that there was no provision for cow slaughter in the first draft that was submitted by the drafters of the constitution okay so but on november 24 1948 all right now uh, 1948 uh, thakur das bhargava a congress member from punjab introduced an amendment stating 
that um, he included that to my mind it would have been better if this could have been incorporated in the fundamental rights but some of my assembly friends differed and it is decided of dr ambedkar so basically uh, he said that he wanted a provision for uh, you know cow, uh, protection of cows from slaughtering and he wanted that to be a fundamental right right now we all know that this is an article 44 it's in the director principles of state policy and it's not enforceable under any court in india so uh, what um, taku taku das bar wanted was that it has to be added as a fundamental right so after various uh, debates in the um, uh, constituent assembly and various suggestions of in the constituent assembly a particular provision has been added to the indian constitution under article 44 so what is that provision the state shall endeavor to organize agriculture and animal husbandry so basically when you look into it it's not straightly imposed as don't kill cows but it is said that animal uh, for the uh, for uh, you know take measures to prevent to uh, develop agricultural processes and animal husbandry to protect animals or uh, agricultural animals uh, on modern and scientific lines and shall in particular take steps for preserving and improving breeds and prohibiting the slaughter of cows and calves or other drought cattle is the result of the debate and deliberations that happened in the constitutional debate so finally we have an article in the constitution which states for agricultural purposes don't kill any animals sorry don't kill not animals but cows alone okay so basically this is the line provided in it and uh, one thing we have to keep in mind is that it is provided under the dpsp that is adapt to principles of state policy and uh, it is not enforceable so uh, uh, and many requests came and many uh positive comments and many negative comments with the same was uh, given it was said that it's going to affect the secular nature of the country this is going to you know create violence in the country but in the, what many uh, there were positive reviews to stating that this particular uh, uh, uh article is very important because it is very close to the culture of the indians so that is one thing and there were many requests to jawaharlal nehru stating that this law has to be made permanent and has to be uh, created in such a way that is enforceable under law but jawaharlal nehru gave an explanation that the the sole authority for banning of cow slaughtering is given to state governments and the state governments are provided with ultimate rights in order uh, with these particular in this particular area so even now particular states like kerala and uh, uh, like many other states do, do not have any ban on cow slaughtering but various states in the north and uh, um, many other uh, states like gujarat and other states have a ban on cow slaughtering and cows cannot be slaughtered in these particular states so this is all about the slaughter ring of cows in um, india and the law that prevents uh, the cow slaughtering in india and the states that uh, states power to you know um, create laws on slaughtering of cows in india so with this i end my video and if if you have any opinions kindly drop it in the uh, comment section thank you so much